Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Sunday, August 7th. Today is the 19th week of Ordinary Time. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Glorious is the Lord on high. Alleluia. The Lord, the Lord is King with majesty in robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world, the world you made firm not, not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea, the Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitted to your house. O Lord, until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Lord on high. Alleluia. To you, Lord, be highest glory and praise forever. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All your waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All your hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightning and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. 
everything growing on the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins, all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All your beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. To you, to you Lord, be highest glory and praise forever. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded, they were made. He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise, Praise the, the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, bees, wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wings. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, and the old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Hallelujah. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. A promise is a promise. 
God's promise of salvation is a promise. But we have free will that can deny this gift. The world we live in, also known as life on earth, is focused on acquiring material wealth. And when we do, we lose sight of the promise of salvation. As we lose this sight, our life gets filled with challenges and affliction. Despite the pain and suffering that we experience, we, can, we can't seem to get enough of it. We continue to focus on acquiring material possessions as a source of comfort. Our human brain is so limited to grasp the idea of salvation and we end up denying ourselves the privilege of God's promise. The land of Israel in our reading refers to the promised land by our Lord, a land away from any pain and suffering. God's promise to Israel is our own story too. For us who believe we would do well to reflect not only on our own promised resurrection at Christ's return, but our transformation through the Word of God. God's Word brings life to the lifeless and hope to those without hope. Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will live forever. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will live forever. Hallelujah. Father, you sent the Holy Spirit to enlighten the hearts of men. Hear us as we pray. Enlighten, Enlighten your, your people, people, Lord. Blessed are you, O God, our light. You, you have given, given us a new day, resplendent with your glory. You enlighten the world through the resurrection of your Son. Through your church shed this light on all men. You gave the disciples of your only begotten Son the Spirit's gift of understanding. 
through the same Spirit, keep the church faithful to you. Light of nations, remember those who remain in darkness. Open their eyes and let them recognize you, the only true God. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Enlighten and your people, people, Lord. Lord. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our heart the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.